PS5 launches today, Mr. Black. So it's, I was at Best Buy yesterday. Yeah. And I finally saw the PS5 in person. They have one on display. Was it the size of your torso? Adam, Adam I'm telling you. <laughs> I, I knew it was big. I knew it was big. But you didn't quite figure you didn't... I didn't. It didn't register until I saw it. And I, when I saw it, I had to do this. I had to go. I had to do this. <laughs> it required head movement. It required head movement. I mean, Adam, the PlayStation 3 fat is small in comparison to yes. the PS5. I mean, the thing is fucking huge. It's thick. Like, the thing is like, it's thick. And it's. <laughs> It's got to be over. It's got to be two feet long. I mean, the thing is <laughs> fucking huge, bro. It looks, it looks sexy. Like it looks like a, it looks like a Dubai skyscraper. Just, I don't even know how you would stand it up. Like I know it can stand up, but that's risky as fuck, bro. <laughs> that thing tips over. It's breaking something. It's it, like, I'm telling you, you will lay that shit flat. It would take up a section of my desk. Like I, it's bigger than my keyboard. It's bigger oh, yeah. than the keyboard. Like it's huge. Oh, it's, it's huge. It's enormous, bro. When they when they showed those pictures, it didn't really dawn on me how big it was until they stacked the 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 fat PS3 still, up against PS5. Still, Adam, still the picture won't do it justice. You got to see it in person. When you see it in person, <laughs> you're gonna go, "What in the actual fuck? <laughs> what in the fuck?" And I'm the type of guy that's like, I'm the type of guy that's like, I don't give a fuck, man. I'm used to having a big ass tower. You know, throw a console in there, dude. Even for me. It had me guessing, where the fuck would I put this thing? <laughs> the thing is huge. It's huge. Dude. It's not going to fit in, in like regular ass entertainment sets. No. Like the ones that come in with normal cubbies that you like, you, you slide in your, your receiver and stuff. No, that ain't it. At it least the Series it. X, which is sub substantially smaller. At least yeah. the Series X can stand up safely. Yeah. Like no. that's the preferred no. position. You are not standing up the PlayStation 5. Unless you got it in some sort of like bracket, like <laughs> on the side of a, an entertainment set, I would not you got stand like, that. You got an industrial cable, tension I'm not cable. I'm, <laughs> dude, I'm, I'm not even joshing you on this. The thing is that big. And it, I, had, I couldn't pick it up because it was in a case. I can't imagine how much it weighs. It looks like it is like the PS3 was a brick. This thing is like a foundation. It's like <laughs> uh, the whole fucking ground floor this is the thing you build the house on top of the thing is huge it's massive i couldn't believe it so yeah no uh i guarantee you uh the they're gonna come out with a with a slim model they have to come out with a smaller ps5 model and that shit's gonna sell like hotcakes because when people realize actually how big this fucking console is i can't imagine how big the box is how big is the box to the ps5 huge I, I, it's gotta be it's gotta be like the size of a monitor box it's really huge it's big. It's heavy. Hey, here's the crazy part. All right, so a couple of notes. Uh, one, I've seen a lot of people legitimately saying what you just said, where they they wanted to get a PS5, they went in, or they've seen it in person, and then they didn't buy it because they said, I actually can't fit this console yeah. anywhere in my entertainment system comfortably. I have nowhere to put it. And so yes. they just flat out didn't buy it because they have nowhere to put it. And they said the same words. I'm going to have to wait for the slim or whatever fucking like three years from now when they come out with a revised model. Cause I can't, I can't oh, dude, fit the I, shit. My, my guess is that we're going to see some sort of smaller version of this PlayStation within two years. There is no fucking way that this is, this is the answer. There's no way I, you know what the craziest I, thing is? You know what the the, uh, the designer said? He said at one point it was actually going to be bigger. No, the answer <laughs> is no. They get you. I'm surprised Sony doesn't have like its own display that you can buy with it to like <laughs> to like make it look nice. Yeah, yeah. and like put put it in there so that it's nice and a fucking pedestal for the PS. Seriously, <laughs> and you can make a cool like you can make a cool Sony PlayStation Five like entertainment piece. <laughs> That like is its own thing that you could have little blue LED lights that like, you know, make the thing light up on the sides like an actual Dubai skyscraper. Yeah. And it sits in the middle like they could come out with and I'm sure someone probably will design something. It's that big. You I'm telling you, I want to know 
if there's anybody in the comments that have PS5 that actually stands the thing up, Adam, I'm when you stand the thing up, it, it has to be. Is it like, as tall as your child? Yes, <laughs> damn near close. It's definitely the size of my torso, like from my shoulder right down to here. Like, yeah. um, it's got to be that big. It's it's fucking huge. <laughs> I had to do. I I had to do this. <laughs> like, I had to do. I had to look. I I couldn't just. I it was like being in a video game and you got to change your field of view to like see everything that's going on. I couldn't believe it. You need an FOV slider in your living room to see the entire PlayStation 5. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> now, I'll say this. It looks like a quality product. It sure. don't look cheap. Sure. It looks like when you're spending fucking 800 bucks or whatever the damn thing, or 700 bucks, or whatever it is, uh, you kind of feel like you're getting your money's worth. Like, it, you know, I'll give them that. It's a nice looking console. But I mean, Jesus. <laughs> So, so not that notwithstanding, uh, a couple of other pieces to, to to go through for the the news out on on PS5 days. So, uh, Sony has confirmed that you cannot store PlayStation Five games on an external storage device at this time. So last week we confirmed that you can't that the that the firmware isn't available yet to expand. The internal storage with a, an NVMe drive, um, because they're still waiting to have a, a better list and an idea of what will actually work and whitelist them, so you can't expand your internal storage. But people were hoping you could at least store PS5 games on an external hard drive and swap it to the Why? internal storage. There's no games. Uh, well, I mean, they don't exist. So, so to your to your point, I mean, there are, there are a number of people that are taking. PS4 games that they have installed right now and moving it to the PS5. Also, there, you know, a co if you do have the PS5 and you are buying a couple of games, so I'll give you an example here that popped up here momentarily. So, uh, so they confirm that that isn't a uh, an option at this time. On the Xbox, you can do that. You can store it on external HDD and swap it with the internal memory, uh, and vice versa, so that you don't have to re-download games. Whatever. It's not a huge deal that it's not happening now. It might be for people who who are trying to move multiple games with them. But in the future, hopefully the future isn't that far away and the firmware is coming to let people do that shit because not everyone wants to re-download a 140 gig game every time they want to fucking uh, go back and play it and they don't have the internal storage because the, the console only has 600 and fucking some gigs uh, of available memory. So... Yeah, a bit of a, a, a bit of a, uh, of an unfortunate thing, but I'm sure they're working on something, uh, for that. So, um, so yeah, in fact, Sony has said they're, whatever this means, Sony has said they are exploring the options for the future in regards to that. They're exploring it, like, clear, like Christopher fucking Columbus, they're getting out there on the boat and they're looking around mm. a little bit. Um... We also found out this week that firmware in the future will allow the PS5 to output resolutions up to 8K, though for what purpose, I couldn't fucking tell you, because uh, you're sure shit not playing games at 8K unless you're playing Minesweeper. Uh, the DualSense controller battery life is also supposedly similar to the DualShock 4. People were wondering about that because obviously there's a lot more functionality with the DualSense controller versus the DualShock. Uh, and other controller colors are coming in the future for those who want to uh, to splash some color on their their dual sense uh, controllers in the future. So, beyond that, as far as the PS5 games are concerned, it seems that Gran Turismo 7, Ratchet and Clank, and Returnal are all slated for the first half of 2021, uh, with Horizon Forbidden West coming in the second half of 2021. I just have it in my notes here. I will be fucking blown away if all of those hit the release dates. Ratchet how many? And Clank, maybe. How how many how many games are, are listed here? Let's see. We had uh, one, two, three, four. Of the four, Jeff, one. which how, one? Ratchet and Clank. Okay, that's the one that's hitting. That's the one that's hitting. All right. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I think of all. I think of all of them. I would say that. Uh, I would say Gran Turismo is the one that will hit. Yeah. Might. Uh, I think it'll be Gran Turismo. Might get both. You might. Hey, you might get two. You might get you two. Might you might get, get fifty. Gran Turismo and Ratchet and Clank. Fifty fifty. Fifty fifty. Fifty fifty. Um. 
You're definitely not getting Horizon Forbidden West. <laughs> I that and I would you, be shocked. You are definitely not getting that game. That no. is not coming in 2021. No, I don't Just think so. Every piece of pipe you can think of. <laughs> Generally speaking, from what I've seen in, uh, of early interactions with the PS5 floating around social media from those that were sent a console early. Uh, it's generally very positive, similar to the Xbox experience for people so far. I've seen some complaints of uh, interesting software interactions that have resulted in the console crashing and or freezing. Uh, and not everyone is a fan of the user interface at this time, but otherwise, so far so good. Very positive responses, uh, in particular to the Miles Morales Spider-Man game. And also very positive with the Demon Souls um, remake as well. Not that either of those would be shocking. The Spider-Man game was was already fire. Miles Morales looking more fire. And the, we've we watched Demon Souls. That is legitimately the most intriguing game of the next generation that that exists, pretty much bar none right now. Um, and then yes, to add to that storage note. So perhaps the most obvious issue is that storage is already. An issue for some. So, for example, Jeff Gersman, who had his his uh, sent to him, uh, mentioned that after having his no after installing No Man's Sky, which just got we mentioned this the other week as well, the next gen update to bring all the, that stuff from the PC to the new consoles. So he's got No Man's Sky, Borderlands Three, which is another uh, new release with uh, with updates, and Watch Dogs, which is also a brand new game release. So those three games are all brand uh, well. No Man's Sky is the update, but otherwise new releases. Uh, with updates for the current generation. Between those three games, and the fact that I think he also, he doesn't mention this in in uh, the same sentence, but he does mention the size of Call of Duty, so he may or may not also have Call of Duty. He's already well, that's hitting... Kind of a big, that's kind of a big, uh, you know... Yes, so, you know, but let's assume, so I, yeah. in my notes, I have here, uh, I'm assuming that he also has Call of Duty, because Call of Duty is 200 gigs on its own. So yeah. just Call of Duty, as yeah. he mentions in his tweet is one-fourth, yeah. actually more than a fourth, yeah. of the entirety of the PS5's current offerings of storage internally. So if you're yeah. a Call of Duty player, it better damn well be the only game that you plan Over on news. playing. <laughs> good news, most Call of Duty players <laughs> only play Call of Duty. Only play Call of Duty. <laughs> so that's good, because so, it's, it's the only one <laughs> It's the only one they're getting. Um, especially if you get, like, the one that just comes out tomorrow on top of Warzone, you're now looking at, like, fucking, I don't know, 300-plus gigs just for one-and-a-half Call of Duties. Uh, so, yeah, so between those three, though, and possibly Call of Duty, he's basically already hit the wall. So you're looking at four titles, give or take. If you split Call of Duty into two other titles, it's basically what we were saying before. You're looking at maybe five, five games, games, and that'll be your, your rough estimate uh, plus or minus, somewhere between four and five games uh, is what you're going to expect. Which, thankfully, again, as you mentioned, other than, you know, unless you're somebody who's into pretty much any, like everything that just came out recently, so Assassin's Creed, Watch Dogs, whatever, you know, that just came out, and you're looking to play them on the new consoles, thankfully, you might not run into that issue. However, I do hope that for the sake of PlayStation 5 players, the firmware for the expanded storage, uh, or at least storing it outside the console, and then bring it back later, comes sooner than later, because holy fuck, that's brutal. I, and, and like Jeff Gersman mentioned as well, as we talked about last week, um, it, they must not have been able to financially commit to a 2 terabyte internal drive. Otherwise, they would have. I, I have to imagine it was just too expensive and they couldn't make the pricing work. Because it would have drove the price It'll up too high. On the next line of consoles, right? The, yeah. the, you know, the, the, the next line, they'll... The, it'll come with bigger hard hard drive storage spaces, and I mean, like like we've like we've regurgitated. There's not a lot of games out right now. Yeah. And I'm gonna be frank with people, and and all right, Frank, what do you got? I'm, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be frank. Um, if you try if you trying to ship over like fucking two, three, four terabytes worth of games on a console, and you're upset that you can't hold every fucking game possible, you need to start rethinking some priorities. All right. I'm just going to keep it 150%. Um, if, if, if it's life or death for you that you can't have 15 titles fully installed on your PlayStation or Xbox all at the same time for the off chance that you want to play one or you play all of them. Yikes. Yikes. P get a second job. 
You're doing too much. <laughs> you're hit, un, unless, unless you are Jeff Gertzman that gets paid large amounts of money to have video games on its consoles. I mean, I can't appreciate need, wanting to be able to store them so that you don't have to re-download them. I think I that's reasonable. That. That's I, fucking reasonable. I get that, but I mean, fuck. I, 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 Not I, all at the I, same time. Yeah, I, I appreciate I, I, exactly, all at the same time. Exactly. It's like, dude, you can have... Uh, Storing them, yes. Games, but why do you have to have 30 games installed and ready to go at the drop of a dime? I mean, Jesus, that, it's that's, 2020. Most download speeds these days are getting you a game downloaded pretty fucking quick. At most, a few hours for a lot of people. Have the shit run overnight if you really need to. Do you actually have to have every single title you have installed on your godforsaken PlayStation? On I mean, day one? Uh, and here's no. the crazy part, Adam. For a lot of people, it's yes only because they got nothing else to do with their fucking consoles. What else are you doing? You got no games to play. So let's let me feel like I'm doing something and get my money's worth. Let me just take every fucking game I have and try and cram it on here because I got nothing to play. What else am I going to do? Maybe if they had a fucking game to play day one or day two or day four, they wouldn't have to worry about this because they'd be playing one fucking game for the God knows how long, but they have nothing to play. And unless you like Dark Souls or you like Spider-Man, you got fuck all. And Spider-Man's going to last you, what, eight hours? Come on. I've got fucking 40 godforsaken PlayStation and Xbox games, and I got maybe two installed on my godforsaken console. Two. And usually when you beat the fucking things, you don't just go, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to leave this on my hard drive just in case I plan to play it again. Insta uninstall the fucking thing and install your next game. The fuck? But again... I appreciate wanting to store it off of the console so you don't I have to re-download it. Some people have data caps. We don't have to live with that, Jeff. We, are, <laughs> we, aren't, we aren't living in the archaic world of data caps, but unfortunately, I a shitload it. of people are living in the world of data caps. And oh, Call of Duty God. is already chunking one-fifth of an entire month worth of fucking data for a lot of people. So being able to store that shit is useful. And hopefully for the, like I said, for the PlayStation 5 users, hopefully for the love of God, they have a fucking uh, a firmware update for that shit ASAP, because there will be, it might not be you, and it might not be me, but there's 110 million people with a PS4. I'm going to hazard a guess that some would like to be able to have their games stored off the, <laughs> off the, uh, the console for use in the future. It's a different animal, uh, to say the least.